Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing this morning? It is 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. And uh, yeah, to say the least, I'm ramped up and ready to go already, I guess. Um, just waiting. It's going to be a long wait till 7 uh, p.m. tonight for this kickoff, this game. And uh, man, I'm just excited. It's always a fun time to see your team in the Super Bowl. There's no feeling like it. You know what I mean? We're big we're big sports fans. Um, you know, Philadelphia is just the biggest sports um fans ever. You know, it's it's a fact. You know, they did they did research on all this stuff. You know how they do research on everything. And uh Philadelphia is has got the best sports fans and passionate sports fans out of every team, out of everybody. So, um, yeah, t tonight places are going to be just jumping. It's going to be dangerous, too, tonight. I have a very funny feeling there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be a little, have one too many uh, tonight. And there's going to be some, unfortunately, it's just the way it is. And I don't, I wish I didn't have to say it. I think that there's going to be some problems uh, after the game, if we win. And I hope we do. Uh, but uh, Philly fans tend to get out of hand. They really do. Uh, they get, they get out of hand. That's just the truth of it. Um... But yeah, I'm staying local. If I go anywhere, I've got a few friends right. I could walk to their houses uh, that we were invited over there. If we decide to go, there's going to be a bunch of people, you know. So I want to. I like to watch the game. When I watch games like that, I like to be by myself or just, you know, my wife, my dogs, and I like to no distractions. You know what I mean? Uh, because if you go to these places, people are screaming, getting in front of the TV. There's nowhere to sit. Kids are running all around. It, it just, it, I'd rather watch it at home by myself, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Just peaceful, my TV, boom. Um, but anyway, let's get into what I want to uh, discuss with you guys uh, a little bit. I've got my uh, Zippo case knives out here. Um, the only ones that aren't the case Zippo knives are the two end ones. These are from the Canvas series. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these knives here, um, but I'll show you. I guess I'll show you the box real quick. Um, this is the box. They come in a very nice box and they're cradled. How they come, they sit cradled in the box real nice. It's a nice presentation. Um, what else can I say? Hold on a minute. Um, the, um, that these two are the case uh, canvas series, but the rest here are, you get them in these boxes here. Just a standard box, your, your, your regular, uh, case, uh, box. This one happens to be in the natural, uh, bone, smooth bone, but look at the price. Look at that price. Can you believe that? I mean, if you know w what I'm talking about, that is just, uh, that's spectacular. $44, $44. Um, we'll get there. I'll, it's this one right here. This is the one. This is the $44 knife one right here. But you can see Zippo, and underneath there it says USA. Zippo USA. But you could see how beautiful. I mean, just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I love these knives. I love them. Love them. 
I'm jumping ahead, I think. But I just wanted to show you that one because I had the price out. But this is the uh, smooth white bone. And you could see, I just love that inlay. I love, love, love that inlay. It just, it's fun, you know what I mean? You got the, um, it's you got your case in collaboration with Zippo stamped on there. And it's just, a, a, I, I can't explain it. I really can't. Um, but we'll go ahead and give you a look at all of them, I would guess. Um, this is, uh, I believe this is the chestnut bone. Yeah, this is chestnut bone. And just give you a look, a quick look at them. They're all the same. But uh, I just wanted to show you how beautiful they were. I really, uh, these are some of my favorites uh, in my case uh, collection. Um, I really love, uh, I'm a sucker for a single bladed uh, trapper. I just love the way they look. Um, I just think that they're, I mean, I just think that they're fantastic knives. I really do. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, this one here, um, but just the single blade trappers uh, are so slim in the hand. The size is fantastic. The uh, blade, you can see that blade is just nice and big. And I mean, you could just get your, a lot of work done. You know what I mean? They're, 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 they're awesome. Um, so that's that we got this uh black it's called rough black uh i forget what they call this uh i don't have the thing with me but it's like a um it's like a delrin type uh material but very if you've ever felt this very very nice feeling um it, it's extremely nice feeling um but you've got this, again, it just goes so beautiful uh, with the stainless uh, blades and everything. And the black looks so pretty. Looks so, so pretty. Uh, now look at the back spine. You got the brass liners. I mean, you can't. It, it's hard to beat as far as pretty, like, prettiness goes, you know. Really nice looking uh, knife here. I really like this one. A lot, even though it's Delrin. I like, I like this knife. And uh, they feel so good in hand because they're so slender. They're so, um, they're just fantastic in the hand. They're really, they're really good. What's that one there? This one, I know what this one is. This is the Cure Knight. And you can just see... Uh, it's just so vibrant. Uh, it's just so well done. You know what I mean? The colors just, look at them colors. They just pop out at you, you know? And again, that's so cool. If somebody saw this knife and they saw that Zippo inlay in there, you know? It's just, I, I'm, I just, when they came out with this series, I just went crazy. I went crazy because I liked them. I just like them a lot. They're some of my favorites. Um, I don't know what else to say. You know, some people like certain things. And, uh, well, for me, um, it, these do it for me. The single blade trappers. Phew, uh, in hand, again, if you just gripped it in hand, just a wonderful feeling. And uh, just up for... Uh, you could do like serious uh, chores with this. You don't have to baby this. It's meant for doing whatever you got to do with it. The size of the blade, everything. You can have at it, man. It's ready to go. I've already showed you. Oh, no. This this is probably the uh, prettiest one, I think. This is the, um, uh, what's this? Maple. Oh, man. 
This is, what is this? I got to find out now. Let's move on that one. Hold on, guys. Bear with, curly maple, yeah. This is the curly maple one. And when I got this one, I damn near fell off my chair. But you can see, I mean, it's just beautiful. This curly maple is absolutely beautiful. Um, just beautiful. The, the combination of it, it just looks fantastic. Um, there, I, I can't really say too much else about it. It's just a beautiful, look at the back of it. Look at the back of that uh, that wood, that curly maple. I, I can I could just get mesmerized by. It. I mean, it's so it's that. I mean, it's so beautiful, you know. Ah well, um, this is the one, the smooth white bone. This is the one I showed you. But I love uh, smooth white bone. It's just got an elegance of its own. You know what I mean? Um, just, uh, it's just beautiful. White bone is just beautiful. I'm a fan of just white bone. You know, it's very, uh, elegant. It's very elegant. And, um, I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks beautiful. So that's that one there. And then we get to these. Um, this is like a filigree print. But it's so beautiful. It's so they it, they had a whole series of these uh, this canvas series. Like I said, I could only get two. Um, but you could see the back of it. This is not really an integral, but it looks you know it's all there's no back uh, spring to it. You know what I mean? Isn't that cool? This is really a neat piece. This is a neat piece. When I got this one through, I was like, oh my God, I just can't believe it. Um, just the decorative, um, how they did that scroll work. You, I can't, I, I know the camera's probably not doing it justice, but the scroll work is so beautiful. Um, you could see the back spine. These are beautiful knives. You can see right there, USA. Um, I'm glad to have these two. They're just, they're, they are just beautiful. If you see these come up, don't hesitate. Do not hesitate. Grab one. Um, but they got nice weight. Again, they feel the same as these in hand. Nice purchase in hand. And if you really, really, really want to carry an elegant piece uh, to a function or, you know, somewhere where you're getting dressed up, carry this and put this in a slip, I'll fold it up and show you. Um, God, it's so, it's so smooth. Um, you can see it folded up in its configuration. Look at that. Go figure. This one's centered. Huh. How often do you see a centered case? Um, but yeah, you could see. Look how nice that uh, that brushed stainless is. They brushed it. The, the, the back end of it. They, that's br Look at that. Brushed stainless. So beautiful. Um, again, here it is in its folded uh, configuration. And you just drop this right into a slip. And uh, th these, these knives here, what I'm showing you here, these are knives to get passed down. These aren't knives that, uh, you, you know, these are, these are serious. Um, I, I love them. I think that they're uh, serious pieces of cutlery. I really, really enjoy them. This one's already taken on a patina, if you can look. See how it's already, you can see it clearly. It's taken on a patina already. And it's only going to get better uh, with, with age. This is going to look so um, awesome with age. See that patina it's got developed? See how dark it's getting? It's getting that nice dark color. Uh, this one also looks very, very beautiful. 
uh, folded. You know, just to show you what it would look like in its folded configuration. But just very, very pretty piece. Very pretty piece. I really like, uh, I like these knives a lot for what they are, you know what I mean? They're not million dollar knives. I mean, they're like 60, these might be 60 or $70 knives, you know, these here. They're no more than 70 bucks. And I think that they are well worth the $70 that you would pay for one of these. Well worth them. Buy them all for 70 bucks. Great, they're that, they're that good. You know what I mean? They're that good of a knife. You can't let things like this slip you by. That's what I mean. You just can't let things like this go. That's about it, guys. Uh, we're at our time limit here. I just wanted to, I started to geek out a little bit. When I get these out and stuff, I just go into another, it takes me to another place. It really does. And um, I, I'm just a very passionate person, you know. I'm very passionate about cutlery. I'm very passionate about the knife hobby. You know, very, very passionate about the knife hobby. And uh, I like to show you some, some of the stuff I have. You know what I mean? It excites me to show you um, some of my collection. You know what I mean? I like to show you some of my collection. And it excites me. Like this here showing you this curly maple uh, piece. It's just, you know what I mean? But anyway, I could, I'm just going to keep on talking and rambling on, right? All right, guys. Use, uh, be good, be well, be safe. Wherever you are watching the game tonight, whatever you are doing, enjoy the game, have fun. Please cheer my Philadelphia Eagles on for me if he's getting. Uh, it's going to be a fun night. You guys have a great, great and fun night, evening, and uh, be safe out there. Seriously, be safe. If you're voyaging out, I can tell you there's going to be a lot of people drinking and all that other stuff, man. So be careful out there tonight, no matter what you do. And uh, drop me a comment if you want on this video. Hit the thumbs up if you feel like it. And uh, that's it. You guys be well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.